Reggie Jackson wanted to run his own team, but be careful what you wish for. The Detroit Pistons point guard has been dreadful lately, simply unable to find his own shot at the helm of the Pistons offense. He was the sixth man for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Instead, he's been exposed and the Pistons are on a horrible losing streak right now. The Miami Heat are scrapping for playoff positioning in the Eastern Conference, and this week is not gonna be easy for them. They host the Cavaliers, Blazers, Nuggets, and then they head to Oklahoma City in a really tough stretch that's gonna test whether they have what it takes to compete. The Utah Jazz may not climb out of 11th in the Western Conference, but they would be a playoff team in the East. That's an important thing to think about when you're discussing this young, promising team. Quinn Snyder has done an amazing job lately, as they were 17 and 33 on February 6th, but they're 12 and 3 since. Blake Griffin's back for the Los Angeles Clippers, and it's good timing. The Clippers simply don't have a balanced offense without Griffin, and though he didn't look himself in his return from a staph infection in his elbow, he did make some nifty plays, including a behind-the-back dribble in transition. Griffin is key in taking some of the weight off of Chris Paul and DeAndre Jordan, the Clippers' only two other big-name players. You can talk about the Cavs, you can talk about the Spurs, you can talk about the Thunder, you can talk about the Blazers, but the Atlanta Hawks and the Golden State Warriors have been the two best teams this season. Their first matchup was an exciting 124-116 Hawks win on February 6th. That time, it was in Atlanta, though, and Oakland's a different story. The Warriors are 29-2 at home this season, and they're going to be really amped up for a chance to avenge that loss on national TV 